Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the, what are we at, 105th? Yeah, 105th video tutorial for Qt and C++ and Ruby programming. Sorry, my cat's distracting me. I've had a heck of a day. The neighbor, his lawnmower put a rock through my window, and he's being a total jerk about it, and I ended up calling the police, so I'm like really frustrated right now. But um, anyways, we are actually not going to write some code, but I did want to revisit an old buddy of ours. Remember the encryption library Botan or Botan? Um, I actually don't know how to pronounce that. Anyways, go to uh, Botan or Botan.randombit.net, and I've had quite a few of you call in and say, "Hey, Brian, the tutorials you wrote 72 and 73 about encrypting a file—they don't work." Well, the reason why is there's a new version of this, and that new version is not compatible with the old version. And I'm, I have to apologize if my voice sounds really hoarse. I'm also getting over a cold to make things that much better. So here we go. Um, first off, this is in Linux. I got a lot of feedback from you guys, so I have to give a shout out to Does Not Give a Damn. <laughs> that is an awesome name. Um, the user bin extern e works perfectly on my system. So what I've done is I've gone through and I've I shouldn't say that I've done it because I really haven't done a whole lot. Um, actually, the Nokia Qt developers have done a lot of this. And what they've done is they've gone out and they've gotten Botan. They have this new snazzy thing in the new build called the Amalgamation Build, I think it is. Hmm. Anyways, it takes all of the, the Botan libraries and compresses them down into one header and one source file. As you can imagine, this is a humongous file. I mean, you can just see it's massive. But what it does, excuse me, is it allows you to put all of the code into your application rather than having an external DLL. Now, when I first tried this, I thought, oh man, this is awesome. I'm loving this. I could not get it to work. For the life of me, I could not get this thing to work. And what I was missing was this little bit of magic right here, button.pri the kind developers at Nokia have built this little bad boy and when I was on Windows it would not work it just would not work and it's this little bit of magic right here that helps it work I guess there's a name collision I won't get into long gory details but there's a name collision between the Windows header and the button header and on Linux of course it worked flawlessly I know everybody out there who's using Linux is giving a big round of applause so um, what I've done is I've just made a simple wrapper for this. You can hash a string, get a hex hash, which just returns a hexadecimal version of the hash. Um, base64 encode and decode, encrypt and decrypt a string, encrypt a file, decrypt a file, um, set a password and set a salt. We've covered, I think, all of these things in our previous tutorial. If you don't know what a salt is, um, a salt is so that you can use the same password, but by varying the salt, the results are always different, even though it's the same password. It gets into cryptography. Um, it's a very complex subject. I have a certified ethical hacker and a CISSP, and I've studied a lot about cryptography, and there's still a lot that I don't understand, and I make very simple mistakes too. But So I am going to post this out on voidrealms.com, and it's going to have just this project here and with a very simple you know, set password, set salt, and this is my secret, and then it's going to encrypt it and print it out. And the first time you build this, which I've already built it, but it takes an incredibly long time to build, simply because you're compiling the entire Botan library. It's actually no longer a library, it's source files, and you're creating the object files. You know what I mean. Too many cold nuts, I'm sorry. Long day. So, um, I did want to just say, hey, I wanted to keep up with the times. Um, Botan's evolved, and our tutorial should too. Um, I'm not going to turn this into a full-blown tutorial because we've already beaten the subject up to death. So. Anyways, this is Brian. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you learned lots and had fun and have a good weekend.